often been said, hasn't it, that, well, most famously, I think, by the international superstar and sex symbol of the golden era of Hollywood, Mae West, who basically said it's best to be looked over rather than overlooked. And seemingly now, for the ex-royals known as Harry and Meghan, that's happening. And they're not happy as ever. Let me explain. Hi, good morning. Nice to see you. I hope you're well. Let's have a wave. Yes, not bad, is it? I know. I feel like, I don't know. I think it's the iron. I've been having one of those drinks. I brought one of those blenders, you know, and uh, I thought I'd share this with you. Hope you don't mind. And I'll get told off. Waffling, Neil, get on with the story. I like to talk to you, you know, and I would recommend this on a serious note. Expensive blender. It's one of those, you know, very cheap, but it's really kind of worth it because I thought I'll, have, I'll give it a go. Um, and basically I've been having this spinach drink. Yes, you know, trying to get the iron. So a bit of spinach, a bit of carrot, uh, apple, all those sort of things. You know, frozen fruits apparently are the best because they last longer, don't they? Yes, I know. Anyway, yeah, I don't feel so bad, actually. And I think it's a great, I think it saves on vitamin tablets because I read the other day, I hope you don't mind me telling you this, but apparently if you take them on an empty stomach, they just stay at the bottom of your stomach. They don't crystallize or break down. So you're wasting your money. We don't like that, do we? Have a go if you've got a blender. Bag of spinach, banana, bit of apple, bit of carrot, water, dash of milk, few seeds. Yeah, Bob's your uncle. What do you mean you look better? I know I do. Do I? Thank you. How kind. Back as ever to your breaking roll story of the day. Now, it's interesting, this story, on a serious note, because as I said, you know, celebrities really dislike the fact that you overlook them. It's the biggest thing that they really detest, because if you go anywhere and you are not necessarily giving them attention, well, you know, it's a bit like catnip for them. They need attention. Now, as you know, Harry and Meghan have been looking for attention out in New York recently. And even over here, the British Prime Minister, uh, the Right Honourable Rishi Sunak, was asked about what did he think to the recent debacle with Harry and Meghan and he said well actually to be honest with you I have other priorities Ooh, not very, not very nice is it from the head of number 10 didn't go down well let me tell you but what's interesting also is a one-time pal and we have to say that maybe they are still pals but not really when you look at this particular info is the singing superstar Beyonce currently in London popped up in Harry's bar the other night having a celebratory dinner after buying another mansion you know what it's like I'm the same myself yes I break up the, the whole ex you know what I'm saying? But on a serious note, it was interesting to note that Beyonce was, and as ever we have to say allegedly, uh, told the press, the people, no questions about Meghan or Harry. Now, some people might say, well, that's simply she's being kind, doesn't want to be dragged into the argument or a debate. Others, of course, realise that she's selling Beyonce, her brand, her tour, her new album, single, download, perfume, whatever you want to call it. But as I've said to you before, you know, when you think about it, here she is in London, you know, the home of the former royal, maybe just a few words speaking out saying we're all thrilled uh, that nothing serious happened or anything like that. Zilch, nothing. And as we've seen with the international and as we've seen with the British TV stars, Holly and Phil, who famously now split up live on camera, you know, celebrities just back off the minute they sniff. Something doesn't necessarily sit well with them. And let's not forget, of course, that Beyonce featured in their Netflix docuseries and Harry was so impressed, he threw his hands up in the air and said, Beyonce's calling. Well, seemingly, she's not calling much longer. As ever, Beyonce, if you want to correct me, feel free, drop me a line. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.